What is up my friends, Pat here back with another Hobby Lobby Man Cave Decor video. This time I'm joined by Miko, my wife's two-year-old Yorkie Poodle Mix. This is his first time here, so obviously he is super excited. Max, my standard poodle, is doing fine. It's just taking Miko versus Max, there's a lot less chance of a bull in the china shop situation. You are a 2,000 pound feather. <laughs> It's been a year since I've done one of these and I've got a ton of amazing stuff to show you guys. So let's get started. So it's mid-October and currently Hobby Lobby is jam-packed with Christmas decor. They should literally change their name to Christmas Lobby. As a matter of fact, one of the employees told me that there's still four tractor trailers full of Christmas items in the back lot that needs to come in the store and they have no idea where to put it. But you didn't click on this link for Christmas stuff. So let's start things off like I normally do with the Marvel and DC decor. And thankfully, most of the items I'm going to be showing are new, like this Batman light up wall sign, as well as this lenticular Batman Joker print. This wood Batman cutout with a real fabric cape is new, but it kind of looks like a skirt. I do applaud the effort though. Don't be a girly man. I also want to point out that all wall art related items are currently 50% off and don't worry if you happen to miss a sale, just check back in a couple of weeks and it will probably be on sale again since they rotate their sales each week. And if an item you're looking for is out of stock, just have someone in the store order it and then they'll call you when it's back in stock. Over in the Star Wars section, it was a little disappointing with only a few new light up signs being the only items I hadn't seen before. For the Jeep, Bronco and 4x4 lover, I also noticed some new tin signs and prints. Over in the music and movie section, I saw this cool vinyl record wall art, as well as this 70s and 80s VHS car movies canvas print that is currently on clearance for $6.25. Yeah, this one might have to come home with me. Similar to that one is this 80s cassette canvas on sale for $21.49, which I have shown before, but I thought I'd show it again in case you were interested. Everything in this end cap was new. First is this corrugated steel Pikachu sign. Not sure why they decided to mix Pokemon with farmhouse design, but it's on sale if you're interested. There was also some Naruto wall tapestries, as well as some Avatar and Pikachu shadow box art prints. These wood Pokemon cutouts are new and also 50% off this week. Man, I thought Max was a huge chick magnet, but he's got nothing on Miko. I mean, every aisle we went down, somebody was stopping to pet him.
so I always try to save the best for last, and that would be the video game decor. We've all seen the painting of dogs playing poker. Well, what about dogs playing video games? I could see this becoming a classic for a whole new generation. Here is a wooden controller light switch plate on sale for $2.50, and this huge wooden controller is only $22.49. This end cap had a lot of items geared more towards a preteen's room, but all priced very well. All the items in this end cap were new as well. Here's one I haven't seen before. This arcade wizard metal sign is on sale for $13.99. This section had quite a few new items like these Minecraft and Xbox lamps. And here's a close up of one of the Galaga wall plates I've showed off in previous videos. They're actually metal and very high quality for $4.49. I honestly don't know what to think about this one. It looks like something I would make. It's essentially a lampshade glued on top of a Wii U controller. Very odd. These Pac-Man and Atari hats are new and very cool, especially priced at $11.99. Four new wall tapestries priced at $12.99. They also had Super Mario Brothers and Pac-Man desk mats. This 3D Sega Genesis controller shadow box was also new, as well as these Sonic the Hedgehog prints priced at $7.50 on sale. This is the first time I've ever seen a Legend of Zelda print at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure these will sell quickly, especially priced at $10.99 on sale. And right behind it was this NES controller print, also priced at $10.99. Let's hope they keep this trend going in the future. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Another Hobby Lobby video is in the books, and I'm sure you saw something that caught your eye. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite item that I showed off? And I urge you to go down to your local Hobby Lobby and see some of this stuff for yourself. I think you'll really be surprised by the quality. I have a lot of their decor items in my game room, so I stand by their quality and for the price that you pay. And if you stuck around this long, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up for me and Miko if you enjoyed the video or you learned something. And consider subscribing for more videos like this one. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Hey, Daddy. Hi, little love.